guys Sherry J here no um it's been a minute since I've made like a vlog video about my hair and my growth and all that good stuff so I figured I'll do a 2014 hair growth or hair <sighs> hair goals there we go hair goals video because I haven't done one in a while and I do have some hair goals for 2014 believe it or not so if you guys let me turn this off if you guys are familiar with my blog or subscribe to my blog then you may know that I did a post last year <laughs> like December 31st I believe about my top 10 favorite hairstyles of 2013 and in that post I mentioned that you know last year I just really wanted to have fun with my hair let loose try different styles and I was not at all thinking about length at all in 2013 this year however it's a little different um first of all I got my hair cut in August or was it July or August I don't know and sometime in the summer I got my hair cut and I loved the cut um, I just loved it but immediately thereafter I missed my length like I couldn't do any more pompadours and it just it just kind of sucked because I like I love the shape which that's the whole point I was going to get a haircut in the first place I really needed the haircut because my hair was just all out of shape and one side was longer than the other so although I missed the length I needed it in the long run so with that being said I do want my length back but I need to get near the haircut dang all these sounds sorry so why do I need another haircut all right so let's assess the, the situation my hair I got this side of my hair cut the most when I got a haircut because it was I think it was the longer side I believe and I remember when I talked to Felicia Leatherwood on the Curly Cruise last year, I told her that this side of my hair was longer than the other side. And I'm wondering if I get it cut, am I going to consistently need to get it cut since this side grows longer? And again, it's probably, they said it's the, the slipping situations. If you sleep on one side of your hair, then the blood circulates. It doesn't circulate as much. So the other side grows longer have you guys heard this like this is what I've heard because I've always had this problem so when I asked Felicia she said yes you're gonna have to keep getting that other side of your hair cut because that's just the way your hair grows this is not hot <laughs> I don't like having hair that's longer on one side like, like this is not the 90s nobody's trying to bring that back at least I'm not okay it's just not how it is and also I need a haircut because I have some ends that are just really straggly and nasty looking just it's not cute like even I think it was it was on New Year's Eve I had a I had to I had to fail to tend that a flexi ride set and my hair was just not looking hot and I knew I was gonna get kind of crazy that night so I just washed my hair and just did the afro and I put it in a puff and it was just like straight up the 70s all over again so I saw that my when my hair was completely wet it was like straggly ends like this and I cut it and I thought I got rid of them all but apparently I haven't because I still got some straggly ends and I don't mind cutting my hair like I've been cutting my hair secretly behind the scenes for a good three four months so yeah I don't really care to cut cut away cut away but I just want my hair shaped up again and, and not even just a shape up but I honestly need like a mini chop so this is what this is what we're gonna do in 2014 I'm getting my hair cut before the month is over I'm already trying to figure out what date it is that I'm gonna settle on but I want my hair to grow healthy without all these straggly ends without hair like this like I, I just want I love the shape but I know that my hair is growing more on this side I need to get it cut again because this side I mean I like I love the shape of my hair like don't get me wrong that's not the issue it's just that 
I don't want the straggly ends. I need a mini chop and I just want to, I want to get like two to three, four, maybe five inches cut off. I'm not sure. I don't really have a lot of straggly ends over here. Like this part of my hair is just healthy as I don't know what. It's this part that I don't like. This side just kills me. So I'm getting a cut all over and uh, up to five inches off maybe and then I want to do some protective styles now my hair is going to be shorter so I want to get some what they call them Havana twists or something I don't know some kind of twisted fake hair added into it protective style and I, I forget what they're called but I want to get those and I want to do other protective styles like yarn braids and all that stuff and I don't know if I can do it myself because I tried to do some added hair twists with Kanakaline hair and that junk was just horrible and I wasted all that money even though I think the Kanakaline or whatever you call it, it was like a dollar a pack but I also bought some Marley hair once and it was like five dollars a pack and maybe that's because I went to Sally's. I should have just went to the regular old beauty supply up the street type deal and probably got it for cheaper than that. But whatever. I don't know. All I know is I want my hair to grow and I want to do protective styles. Now I'm really happy and I'm in luck because Hairfinity sponsored my lunch party. And they also gave me six months supply of their vitamins. These hair vitamins right here. So I'm going to start taking these. Now, I know that y'all, well y'all know, that I've never really been a big fan of um, lens checks because I, I think I, I decided early on when with this channel that I didn't want to talk about length because everybody's like, oh I wish my hair was your length and what can I do to get my hair to grow and I, I was so against people concerned with their length. like. Be happy with your length. Your hair is going to grow. Hair grows. Like, it just does. You're going to get some length. It's fine. But, <laughs> now that I know what it's like to have a certain length of hair and miss doing those certain type of styles because of the length of hair that I had, I want to get back to that. So, and plus, I'm going to be taking these. So, I'm going to start doing length checks after I get my hair cut. Because a lot of people are like, your hair grew back. Like, you got it cut and it grew back really fast and... I don't feel like I got enough off to really be like, oh, my hair just grew back so fast. Like, I don't know. That's just me being crazy. But I really didn't. I was just like, oh, okay, my hair, it still kind of feels like the same. I don't know. I'm, I'm just weird. But anyway, I'm going to start taking these hair vitamins and I'm going to do a lens check. So, again, I want to start, I want to get my hair cut before February 1st. So, I'm going to start taking these pills on February 1st. And every month after that, I'll do a lint check at the first of the month. So I'll come on here on February 1st to do a lint check and start taking my hair affinity pills. And then again, March, that's when I'll come back, do another lint check, tell you how I'm feeling about the pills, all that jazz. And we'll see if I'm getting some real growth. So I don't know when I'm going to get the protective style. I might do twists for the first month. I'm not exactly sure because I'm doing some exercise and stuff. Because let's just keep it real. We know I gained some weight. Okay, we just know it. Y'all been teasing me. Well, y'all probably don't think y'all teasing me. But y'all like, are you pregnant? What? Girl, are you are you expecting you're just glowing? It's the makeup. Okay, I'm not expecting. I just gained a few pounds. Don't start. Like, that hurts my feelings. Seriously. Pregnant? What? No. Not me. Not I. Not until... We get something, we move into a house or something. I'm like, no, don't wish that on me. Don't say that. Please don't. No, no, no. Okay. Whew. Anyway. So I might just do twists so I can keep the, you know, the sweat and stuff in check and I ain't gotta keep washing my hair. It's getting kind of annoying. Um, so we'll see what happens and I'll uh, of course update you guys with that. But that's what I'm thinking of right now. And I am going to be doing a giveaway of the Hair Affinity Vitamins. I'm giving five bottles away on my blog, SherryJ.com. Check it out. 
I'll also have some more information about hair affinity pills. I'm really excited and again thank you to Brock Beauty for sponsoring the launch party and also giving these to me. Um, I'm just really excited to see what they can do for me because any assistance that I can get in some growth and just healthy hair period um, after I get my chop is just going to be amazing. So I'm going to end this video now. I'm probably sure it's probably like a gazillion minutes long but I want to thank you guys so much for all your support. I've been able to do some amazing things here on YouTube and because of YouTube and it's really all because of you guys because if you didn't watch me nobody want me to do anything. So I just want to thank you guys for everything. Um, also thank you for the support with Big Bottom Funky. Um, you guys are so amazing for that. I still have a sale going on at BigBottomFunky.com. I'm going to have it going on until February 1st and then everything will get back to its original prices so check that out if you haven't. And I think that's it. Yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Um, and yeah, I'm going to, of course, come back and tell you more about the goals and how it's going. And of course, I'm going to get my, my um, hair cut. I'll, of course, do a video and you'll be in the salon with me all over again. But yeah, uh, tell me below if you have any hair goals or if you've been on, if you've discovered something about your hair that you, you're not liking and you want to change. Just let me know so I'm not alone down below in the comments. Alright you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye!